Hi, this video is going to show you how to set up your book blog using Microsoft Sway. So the book blog is going to serve as your online reading journal. It's going to be a living, breathing, evolving document that you are going to continue to add content to as the year goes on and that you'll be sharing with me as well as with others. So it's a great way to communicate kind of not just what you're reading, but what you think of it so that if somebody is looking for something to read, they might go to your blog for a recommendation. So um, just pointing out on Sway, you can choose different templates that are going to um, that are going to work for you. I think we're just going to uh, create create new. But if you want to try out any of those templates, be my guest. I mean, this is all about trial and error. So we're going to give it a title and you can just call it, you know, Dan's book blog, or you could call it reads. I don't know. There we go. And let's say I want to put a background image behind that. I'm going to go, I've, I keep a folder organized of images that I can, that I can easily access on my desktop here. And I kind of have it broken down and let's see, I've got in here some images. All right. This one with book covers, that looks like a nice, cool reading image. I'm going to keep that open, but minimize because I'm going to need that folder again. So, and I'm just going to add to this a little bit. And this should probably be as, as a heading in heading format. But I'm just going to give it a little subtitle, The Things I Think About The Things I Read, because that's what this is. And I'm not going to drop a background behind that. So first, if I want to see how that looks, I can go into design, which is going to allow me to design my page. Right now it is side scrolling and I don't like that. So I'm going to go over to styles switch that to vertical. Okay. So now I don't like this. It doesn't fit as a subtitle there. So I'm going to go back and I am just going to get rid of that. So I'm going to jump into my first entry here and let me see, go back to design. All right. So far, so good. So now for my first entry, I'm, I'm going to want a, a heading card here and we're going to call, we're going to put the date. This is, these are the things that you need to have in your heading and the book that you're reading. And I'm going to talk about this boy's life and book titles should always be underlined. I don't think you can underline in this. So we're just going to emphasize, uh, this boy's life by Tobias Wolf. Okay. So now in my text, I'm going to put the prompt. So I'm just going to go and check with my journal prompts here. And I had decided, let's see, there was a question about, is there a minor character that you think is important and I lost it. So if I can find it really quickly, I'll use that one. Otherwise I'm gonna have to use a different one. Okay. So let's say, here we go. Some characters play small and I'm going to try to copy and paste this. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So
copy, paste. There we go. Um, so in this boy's life, blah, 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 and talk about the character of Gil. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to put a, I'm going to have some quotes in there. Uh, I'm not going to go through and add all the content I normally would because right now my goal is to present this to you. So you've got your heading and you can put a little background there. Put a little background image and that's cool because it'll look at the text and it will it can it can then come up with images videos anything of who we're looking for let's see if they, they have any images from this boy's life yeah there we go there we go so you want to find an image if you can that matches i'm not going to be talking about dwight in this one so uh let's take that one so now that's going to be in the background now let's see you want to might want to add an image and you can also add media you can add you can add videos. So let's say I want to add an image of this guy, Gil, we don't know who he is in this. So we'll, we'll get a picture of, uh, let's see, he reminds me of this guy. The So we can have um, there we go. So maybe that's kind of who you imagine as as being Gil. So now we want to take a look. Let's see how the design looks. And so now, if you imagine, okay, great, this is my. And even though that that image. <laughs> We, 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 we might want to change the focus points on that image. Let's see. I don't know. So now we go here and we want to focus the image a little higher. Whoa, that's too much. We don't need all this text at the top there. Okay, so if you put a couple of focus points here, it will, that helps you align the image. And yeah, you can say the entire image is important. And then, yeah, except then it does that. It looked better, looked better before. So we're just going to hit our focus point there and there and that looks very nice okay so now you've you've got your your blog put together and you can continue to add as you go along and i i accidentally put this image card there so we're going to take that out but now if i want to do my next entry i'm going to go this is just suggested. What am I putting in there? Heading. And then I'm going to do my next entry in the week if today's the 26th. Maybe I'm doing this on the 29th. And I'm still writing about this, this boy's life. So let's say I'm not writing about this boy's life. Let's say I'm moving on to another book, The Shining by Stephen King because I know I have an image for that easily accessible. I go to my images. I want to make sure I can see these previews. So you want to, if, if you can't see the previews, 
you want to make sure that you choose one of these options where you can. So let's say I know I have this in, in virtual backgrounds it's from the movie version of The Shining, the Overlook Hotel. So I put that in there and we're going to put the emphasis on The Shining. Let's take a look at it through design. So when I put the emphasis here, I put the emphasis on the whole thing, but when you only do it on part of it, that's better. It it um, separates it out a little bit. So, and then let's see, we can edit. Oh, very nice. So we're just gonna unemphasize that. Sweet, I didn't even know I could do that. And then if you wanna see how it is really going to look to anybody else who's viewing it, you can press play and now I can't edit it. I see a lot of the effects that are in there and my blog looks really nice and you can keep this going for perpetuity. It doesn't have to stop this year and here's where someone can easily follow your your different posts so when i go to grade your blogs this is what i'll look at is your timeline all right good luck i look forward to seeing what you come up with